Okay, y'all. Hi, it's been a while. Um, it took me almost a month, about three weeks, to get that last video edited. Because every time I'd start, I'd have to stop. I would get 30 seconds edited, and then it'd be done. And in the meantime, we had sick kids. We talked to my daughter nightly, so that takes away, like, editing time if I want to do it at night. But one thing we did do is... <gasps> We built a chicken coop! Oh my gosh, we got the chicken coop finished. We're gonna be putting it out there today. I got it all painted up. We got some handles on there. Got this nice big old coop with a nice little window and oh my gosh, could you imagine it? We got ourselves a gigantic chicken coop. So, today my husband has a, um, his company is holding its annual company picnic that it actually hasn't had for three years because of COVID. Um, but so we have that to go to and that leaves me essentially two hours to clean out the old one, get it out of the way. We're going to have to rearrange some of the posts to allow it to come in, uh, inside of the pen. Excuse me, metal stuff. Whoop, dodge the tree. Um, but we are going to need to Remove some posts, clean out the old coop, and get that one in here in two hours before my husband wants to leave, because he has a friend here who is nice and strong that can help us move that, because I told him, I was like, let's just assemble half of it and put it in there. He's like, no, we'll just get it all done. Well, that thing is a little heavy, so um, are you going to come say hi? Can you say hi, Miss Phoebe? Nope. So we took down their old coop, the uh, the haphazard one that I had put up. I took it down, and underneath this pile that's behind her is the old shavings from that, because I plan on continuing to use the deep deep litter method. So I wanted to make sure that I had those uh, already started litters available to put inside of there. And then now I'm going to go and clean out this mess inside of there. So we can move this out of the way. I'm so excited. My dream of having this giant chicken thing and chickens and everything is here. So I am going to get on doing a lot of stuff in two hours. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we're about halfway done getting ready to get this, uh, the old one out. Got it all cleaned out and everything. And the birds are super worried. Phoebe won't come out of there. She's very concerned. I'm guessing she needs to lay an egg. And her stuff is empty. And she refuses to come out. So. Sorry, bird. Coming out. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Cool. Okay, it's been a couple of days. Actually, it's just been a day. So we got... Oh my gosh. So we got the chicken coop. I got it all cleaned out. Moved everything around. Got ready to move the chicken coop out inside. It was heavy, and we knew it was heavy, but it was heavy. Didn't make it. Legs did not make it. That thing, it's on the floor. Let's go. <laughs> so the chicken coop. Oh, my God. So we're trying to move it. We're trying to turn it on its side. We're trying to do all this stuff. We had to take down a portion of the pin to try to get the chicken coop inside. Can y'all ladies say hi? Say hi, ladies. So we took part of the pin down. Um, she did not make it. She did not make it. But she's in here. So here we go. Chicken, giant chicken pin in the coop. It's probably better that it's on the ground at least a little bit. I think we're going to get a couple more just like cinder blocks and put it underneath. But I, she hasn't been finished. She's at least in here. She's on the ground. I got the big door open just for now for air. And they got their nesting boxes. And I already got an egg. Actually, I've gotten a couple of eggs already. I am going to get a ladder built right now. Can you say hi, Phelan? Hi. Mm. Wait, let's do that again. Can hi, you say? Phelan. Oh, there he is. I like how you say your own name. Say hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Say we miss you so much. We miss you so much. We'll see you very soon. We see you very soon. Excellent. Can I? Can you 
have what, sweetheart? Hello, Fanny. <laughs> Hello, Fanny. <laughs> come on, come, Brett. Come build a ladder with me, okay? Oh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Check out the chicken digging. You getting the nice, delicious grubs? Another chicken over here and her big, messy yard. Oh my goodness, so these past couple of weeks have just been crazy. I'm not only trying to get that other video uploaded, but then taking care of this, trying to keep everything clean, dealing with sick kids. It's just been... The two chickens are digging, buddy. They sure are. Now we need to build a ladder, a nice roosting ladder for the chickens so they have a place to sleep at night. So I just had some, again, you just keep all that wood from whatever project and one day, five years later, suddenly comes in handy. Oh no, you're so crooked. You are so crooked. No, we are not going out the garage. Mommy needs to make the ladder first, and then we can go out the garage. No. Yes, Don't sir. Make I need to make a ladder. No. Okay, so let's see. We have got some coal wood from um, pallets that we've taken off, and then uh, my mother took apart some stairs and replaced a bunch of banisters and gave me the extra wood. She's like, you might use this one day, and I was like, no, but I kept it. I'm glad I kept it. She got a decent little roost, little inch piece for the chickens to be able to jump up on, on at night. Some of them still have screws in them. Keep it together. But those two are the same length. Let's take out a couple of these uh, screws right there. Got them on several of them, but hey man. I can hear thunder in the background. We got some storms. So, so news in Colorado ever since, so what, last week, last week we had a couple of big storms. We ended up getting about three inches in just a couple of, well, we got two inches in like an hour and then another inch the next day. So we got some really good rain. Great for the garden. It hasn't rained since, but since then it has dropped temperature. It's barely hitting the eighties. It's already seventies out here and it's five in the afternoon when it should be the hottest. You got a snot nose. Do we need a tissue? Oh, can I wipe it for you? Cool, let me go get a tissue. Just a moment, sir. Hi, Mr. B. So it's been cold since then, and none of my plants are very mature. So I'm probably not going to get much out of them for the rest of the year. What's funny, though, is that there is a neighbor that I have, or at least somebody who lives within this neighborhood. Um, I am a part of a Facebook page, Colorado Gardeners, I think is all it is. And it's just a bunch of people who go on and they show their gardens. And this guy happens to live a part of my neighborhood. Uh, I live along a creek bed and he's like on the other side of the creek bed. So it's a 10, 15 minute walk to his house. And his garden has exploded and he, um, we have kind of formed a relationship, at least when it comes to the garden. Uh, he does the gardening for therapy purposes, as well as having a little bit of self-sustaining food. But I guess this year he's been really busy and hasn't been able to keep up with his garden. So he sent me a message the other day. He was like, help me. I have all this food and I can't get it. And I was, I had sick children. And then Saturday my husband worked and I spent the day cleaning, like deep cleaning the house because we had some guests. I did not want them to be in the house after the kids finally got over being sick. And then yesterday we did the chicken coop and my husband had his company picnic that we were at all day. And then because the children were sick, my obligations I missed last week. So I had to do them today, um, which is Monday. So I did not have the ability to go and take care of um take care of his garden but i told him monday or tuesday so tomorrow tuesday we will spend the day at his garden
taking care of it and apparently getting some bounty out of it because it's just him, his wife, and his child. And we are a family of six. And he's like, yes, please have some. I have too much. And he does. He has a very beautiful garden. I'll have to take some pictures of it if he allows me to. Just to show him they are gorgeous. Now to lay out a nice ladder for the chickens. I got five and I have these rungs. So let's see. What length are we looking at? Uh, just over four foot, four and a half. Four foot, half an inch. And then these bad boys are... Uh, they are 35. No, they're 36. They're right at 36. So if that's four feet and I got five of them. Um, we are looking. Oh, are you starting to get tired there, buddy? Essentially one every eight inches and leaving a couple of inches on the bottom. You, I bet you are tired. Well, just relax right there. It's perfect, baby. You're going to come and sit with me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So let's see. If it is four inches... Or I'm sorry, if it's four feet, that means 48 inches. And if I have five rungs, if I do it every eight inches, that will leave a good amount of space on the bottom for um, the bedding for the chickens. And then they'll be able to access all the rungs and they'll be up nice and high and they'll have the ability to move around. Huh. Yes. Now we got Luna to be with us. You're thirsty? Mm -hmm. Would you like water or green tea? Water. Okay, let's go get water. Oh. Let's let's see how these markings go. I know everybody else has their math in their head and like, oh, if you did it this way, it'd be great. And I'm just, you know, I'm just going to try with what I got in my head. I want it at least eight inches down. So the chickens have the ability to go up and down. And then that still leaves eight below. And that gave me one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Five. Five rungs. Eight inches apart. Should be plenty for chickens to roost upon. Hi, you're back. That's wonderful. Alrighty, I'm gonna get this done. Yeah, there you go. Had to get longer screws. Had to change the hex. Let's see if we can get this thing in here now. No, that is too small. I am stripping it. Get a bigger one. There we go. Ah, it's in! Boats! And all the other people. I think I'm going to get each side in. Keep it as straight as I can. There's my center. Straight line. Okay. Now that side. Boom! It is connected! Rung number one is connected. Oh. Hopefully this is short enough for me to get inside of the actual door. Otherwise, I'm redoing this. These were short enough to be in there, but the apparatus itself may not be. I guess that's where it, uh, you know, pays to, it pays to discover these things with a um, <gasps> measuring tape. Too late, we're doing it. We're doing it live. I don't care, doing it live. Excuse me, dog. Thank you, dog. Still on square. Oh yeah. Tiny toilet, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's connected, I love that. Hey baby, how are you? Hi. Hi. Okay, other side, gotta make sure it's square-ish for chickadee chicks. Oh, this feels too close. Doesn't it feel too close to you? Yeah, sure does. It's okay. I think, I think we keep it at a decent enough angle. Mm, that, that feels way too close. Uh, I think we're gonna have to take out this one. I think we're just gonna do three rungs. Hmm. That feels too close for chickens. 
although I don't expect them to be stacked on top of each other. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it like this because this will at least give them the option to jump up. Maybe I could do four every 12 inches instead. That would probably better, be better. Okay, redoing this on the fly. On the fly. Alrighty, so keep those there. Remeasure. So if we still want to have that little bit of space, eight at the top. So we're gonna want 20 now. One at 20. One at 32 still. I guess I can keep that as the bottom for the stuff and I could still do one at 44. Hey, what am I looking at, baby? You get something on your foot. You got a pokey. Let me see if I can help you fix that. Where's your pokey? Where's your pokey? Oh, right there, I see it. Come here, cool. Out. Okay, measurements done on the fly. I'm doing it every 12 inches now with an 8 inch base so it's up off the ground with the deep litter method which gets pretty thick so I want to make sure that at least access to that bottom is still there. Alrighty, we're square and plumb and beautiful and something kind of don't but that's okay that's coming up pretty well okay other side Alrighty, here we go last screw there we go doesn't that look much better nice little ladder for the chickens I think the distance on this is gonna be so much better so let's let's go put it in the coop not crazy stable but it's stable enough for the chickens I mean, they weigh four pounds, so. I hope this fits in the hole. Moment of truth. Bigger than the glove. Ah! So excited. It will not fit in the nesting box either. Uh, we don't have a divider in that yet, so it was open face, and it's just too big outside. And it's just just too big like literally just inches I don't want to take it apart I think this just might become an outside ladder especially for the winter time they'll need places like this to climb on so why not just leave it for the little ladies I have so much to clean up in here anyway so I made them a ladder it didn't work now I'm gonna go get more wood because I have more I'm gonna see if I can make a slightly smaller nesting box I mean nesting perches, oh, but I still got an egg. Oops, excuse me, bushes. Well, I'm gonna have to cut a couple of inches off of those. I have a bunch more banisters, so it'll be easy enough to build another one. But I got a tired baby, so we're gonna go lay down. Say night night, everybody. He's a tired guy. Get off of that dirty floor, come on. Let's go lay down. Okay, try two. Uh, cut off five inches from all the balusters and second ladder is ready test staying together go wooden screws now hopefully i took off enough inches for this to fit in the hole more chickens behind me chickens behind me excuse me everything gets a little tight okay let's see it fits in the hole! It fits in the hole! Oh, I didn't bring out any muck boots. Oh well, I'll wash my feet. No, no, no. I'm coming. Nope, I'm coming back out, baby. Alrighty. Let's show you the handiwork. I used a board to make sure I wasn't actually, like, touching it, but... Let's see. Alrighty, there's a nice little perching rod for the ladies to go up to feel up high. And I used that board. Now I can get the board out. So they can, although they can just hop in and out. But I have the board there anyways, because they think it's fun. And then they're nesting boxes. 
And this actually does, you can see a little bit of light inside of there, not only the window, but um, it does have a breeze. But I do plan on taking this area right here, cutting out a hole. I'll put some chicken wire just to make sure that it stays, um, you know, free of stuff going in and out. But I'll put some chicken wire on there and uh, create an opening that I can open and close. I'll put a little a hinge on it with a latch and just be able to open and close it depending on the time of year or the weather or whatever's going on. So still got a little bit more work, but now they have a perching ladder. It's better than what they had before. Last night they all slept on the floor inside of the nesting box. I tried to put something at least to raise them up. They didn't, they didn't use it. They didn't care. So well, I got kids to take care of. Um, I'm going to finish cleaning up. That's what the next week is going to be is cleaning up the absolute mess. We left this entire yard. There's just wood and stuff and I left my gloves on the floor there is wood and stuff and trash and tools and dog poop because the kids were sick I didn't pick up dog poop it's just awful oh my goodness it's just a mess out here I haven't really been able to be outside and do much for a week's time oh he's adorable oh he's adorable and poofy Say bye, Maru. Bye, Maru. Uh, Y'all go catch your piece of the rising sun. I'm gonna go catch mine. Um, keep making my little farm home a reality here in the burbs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.